joining. We're here for a virtual field trip, a collaboration between Creative Mornings and Adobe, and I'm so excited because it's our second time and it's great to have all of you joining. So what we're going to do today with me, Ariadne Ramundakis, you can call me Ari, is a hand lettering exploration. Um, just to tell you a little bit about what this event is, it's with, with Creative Mornings, which is a breakfast lecture series for the creative community. And to give you a little more context, Creative Mornings brings thousands of people around the world together every month um, for these talks in major cities. And what they heard from their community is, we want more ways to connect. Maybe you don't live in a major city. Maybe you don't get up early enough in the morning, which is my problem. Um, and they've started these new field trips and they are intimate gatherings of about 25 people and they're being piloted in major cities like New York, Chicago, San Francisco, Oakland. And with Adobe, we've collaborated on a virtual field trip. So it doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have a computer, you have internet, you can watch you know, explorations and different kinds of creative pursuits. Last time we did stickers, this time we're doing hand lettering. So, I'm so excited that you can join us live. I want to say hi to those of you who've joined. Hi, Oswald. Hi, Dee. Hi, Laura, Erin, Wendy, Kyla. It's great to see all of you. Please say hi in the chat. If you don't say hi in the chat, I don't know you're here, and then I can't say hi back. So please make yourself known. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the theme of Creative Mornings this month, which is chaos. And when I first heard this term, I felt like it was kind of negative. I was like, chaos, like, what does that mean? But when I thought about it more, I realized that in creativity, chaos can be a really productive thing. We always talk about disrupting in design and chaos could mean a new start, a fresh, um, you know, inspiration. It could mean a way to shake things up. And that's what we're gonna do today. So with this theme, we thought of a phrase that we can letter, order in chaos. So it can be interpreted in many ways. How do you find order in chaos? How do you think order and chaos can be lettered differently to express their sentiment? And all you need to do to follow along is any kind of writing tool, pencil, pen, paper, probably, so you can write on, paper, ruler, eraser, those kind of tools, and then Adobe Capture on your phone, which is a free app, and we'll post a link in the chat so that you know how to get that on the App Store, and then Photoshop. So what we're going to do is letter out this phrase, explore different ways, take a picture using Adobe Capture, bring that into Photoshop, put it over a cool background, and then we can share that on social media. And at the end, I'll share my image on Instagram. So who else is joining? Hi, Dina. Hi, Van Dam. Um, I will encourage you at the end to share your work on Instagram too, as well as Behance and tag me so I can give you some feedback and say, hey, great job. Thanks for joining. Hi, Dinor. Hi, Gabrielle. So I wanted to tell you another thing that'll be happening today. We're going to be having random points during this show with a prize. So you'll see something come up, which is really magical and cool. And at that point, if you write stickers in the chat, you could be randomly selected to win 100 free Sticker Mule credits. We've partnered with Sticker Mule, which is a great way to create custom stickers. And if you win, and this will happen a few random times during this hour, you could get a great way to create your own stickers and adorn your laptop like I have here. So keep your eyes out for random points during the chat and keep active in the chat and say stickers when you see 
some falling hearts come down, okay? So keep a keen eye. And right now I have a very special guest that I wanna introduce. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do something and I'm gonna have a live student here. And it's my wonderful friend, Sam. So Sam, are you ready to come join me? I'm ready. She's ready. Right here. Hi everyone. Hi. So Should come over way? here so okay. everyone can see you. Hi everyone, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is Sam Shushtari. Yes. Sam works here at Adobe. Yes. Anything I'm, else you want to say to introduce yourself? I am the project manager on the uh, Adobe Live live streaming team, and I'm super excited to be here. Ari knows that I love letters, but yes. I don't have a steady hand, and I can't do anything myself. So I'm really excited <laughs> to learn and yeah. add this stuff to Photoshop and make something really fun. Cool. Well, when Sam told me she loved letters, I was like, okay, we can be friends. Always. That's great. Oh, ever. And she's cool, too. <laughs> So what we're going to do is, together, we're going to start learning about hand lettering. We don't have that much time. We have less than an hour, so it's going to be really quick. But we'll talk about hand lettering, and we'll talk about how to compose this phrase and post it on social media. So let's say hi to everyone who's joined so far. Hi, Tom. Kathleen's here. Eric. And. and B. Hi everyone. Hi Howard. Afroja. A lot of you have probably seen Sam in the chat because she's watching and chatting on other streams. So it's great to have her live in the studio. Yeah. I'm ready to learn. Yes. Okay. So we can start by doing our little lesson. And our little lesson is going to be all on paper. So we can move over to the paper and get situated. Let's do it. So for those of you that are just joining, we are doing a virtual field trip with Creative Mornings, and we are learning about hand lettering and how to create a composition that you can share on social media. All you need to have is a writing implement like a pen, paper, ruler, eraser, and then Adobe Capture on your phone. So you can capture what you created and put it into Photoshop to make your own composition. So we've got quite a few things. Like, what's going on here, Ari? <laughs> so many tools. Getting I know. stressed. Well, uh, rulers are really important, and they're not intimidating. They're just there to be your friend and okay. guide you. Okay. And pens. You're gonna learn how to use this pen. It's super easy. Right. The Tombow Dual Brush Pen, my favorite thing ever. So, let's do our little lesson. So is everyone ready to learn what the most important things are about hand lettering in like five minutes? Yes, I Definitely. know you're saying yes. <laughs> Sam says, this is already fun. I like paper. Me too. So noise. what are the um, rules, the number one rules of hand lettering? If anyone can guess them in the chat, I would be very impressed. So number one, what do you guys think it is? Number one is legibility. Did I spell it right? Yes. Legibility is super important. We're writing words, right? Right. So you want people to be able to read what you wrote. And I see a lot of people um, trying to get fancy and being like, oh, I'm gonna create all these little like curly cues and flourishes and stuff. And then you can't really read the actual words in the lettering piece and that takes away from the whole reason why you're doing it. So make sure that legibility is your number one concern. Um, consistency is also key, and part of consistency is spacing and shapes. So we'll be talking more about that throughout this stream, and I think it's really important to just set those kind of um, rules at the beginning. And one more thing is that hand lettering is not handwriting. I didn't spell that right. So this is my handwriting. Um, I, I write each letter really quickly. I'm not really thinking about the shapes. When I'm lettering, I'm thinking about consistency, shapes, how the letters fit together. I'm being deliberate. Um, I didn't really put a, a line at the top, so it's not really straight. But I'm thinking more about the shapes. I'm thinking that the A is made up of this and then this. 
and that A could be a D, it could be a G, it could be a Q. Um, these, these letters are made up of components. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And to not get overzealous with, oh, I see all these videos of people like doing all these cool things really fast, so I'm gonna have to do that really fast and I'll just practice like that. It's, it's more important to be really deliberate and slow and think of all the components that are going into it. Okay, so I just wanted to put those rules down. Is everyone, does everyone get it? I'm feeling good. Are you feeling good? Feeling um, confident. <laughs> and then the next thing is style. Okay, where does style come from? Style comes from the tool that you're using. So right now I'm going to do a little demo of a couple different tools. Tell me what 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 is what do you have here, Ari? This is so very have, intimidating, and I'm feeling very. I anxious. have a pointed pen here. <laughs> uh, we won't be using this. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to show you how different pens can affect the letters that you're creating. Okay. Okay. Um, Ivan says, "Lol, those videos are mostly sped up anyway." Yep. That's why you have like these hashtags on Instagram, hashtag real time lettering, because no one really wants to sit through it. They just want to see the, the quick. final piece. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people are like, no, it's actually not that quick. So here we have with a pointed pen, I'm just showing you how something would be, would look. So I dip my pointed pen in ink. And the principles of the pointed pen are upstroke is thin, downstroke is thick. And how you achieve this is by putting more pressure when you're going down and relieving the pressure when you go up. Okay. So as you can see, upstroke thin, downstroke thick. And the same kind of thing happens with the brush pen. Oh, Izina says, I needed this stress reliever today. Yay! I hope that it's a stress relief and it's relaxing um, because lettering can be really meditative. So then we have our brush pen. The brush pen works the same way. We're putting down pressure and we're relieving pressure. And with the brush pen, you can achieve something that's a little more organic mm -hmm. and rough. Um, and that's why people really like it. It's, it's more modern, but it's the same principle pretty much. And one more pen that I have to show you guys is dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a broad nib pen. So I might be going a little off, there we go. So with the broad nib pen, you are not really modulating your pressure you're keeping the pen at a certain angle. So sometimes I like to just remind myself of the angle. It's usually about 40 degrees. Um, and if I do this, then I can keep bringing my pen here and reminding myself. So with that, um, the most popular style you can see with this kind of pen is the black letter style that everyone is familiar with. So I'll just show that. And all you're doing is keeping the pen at a consistent angle. You've seen this style, right, Sam? I actually took a calligraphy class when I was like in seventh grade. Yeah. Um, so I've lost my touch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is a, oh my gosh, that looks so intense. I don't know if I can do that. Well, it's, it's more about just knowing how things work. And if you know how this pen works, then when you're actually with your pencil, just like figuring something out, you can say, oh, I'm trying to emulate that pen. And I know that the angle is like that. So I know that this side will be thinner than the other because I'm imagining how that pen will glide across the paper. Okay, so that's pretty much why I'm showing you this. Everyone stay tuned. Look, something magical is happening. Woo! So you guys know what to do. When you see these hearts falling, type the word stickers. And you can win stickers. 100 free credits from Sticker uh -oh. Mule. 
Yes, go wild in the chat. Okay, so now that we've looked at different styles, we can start working on the phrase that we were, that we came up with today. And the phrase is order in chaos. Okay, so what do you think when you see that phrase? Like how do you imagine it being lettered? For me, I feel like the chaos needs to be a little bit more intense and the order a little bit more refined. Like yeah. have order to it. Yeah. That's like my, my... What do you think intense could be? I don't know. I, I think maybe very crazy. I feel like crazy. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to not restricted. Yeah, I want. I want to. I want to be intense when I write my chaos. All right. But I don't know how that's going to translate. So we'll we'll do we'll a lot see. of tests. We're gonna do a lot of exploration. So while we're thinking about this, I'm just. Oh, the winners, Carrie Dennis. Congrats, Carrie! Woo! Yes. You get free stickers. We can't wait to see what kind of stickers you create. I know. I and thank you it. so much for joining. It's awesome to see that you're joining and being active in the chat. So let's pull our paper a little further out so we have more room. Let me get down and dirty here. That's right. good. Yeah. Perfect. And we're gonna start with our ruler. Um, or we can just start small. So when you're doing composition, a lot of times you don't wanna get too big. You wanna start thinking about like, where are the letters gonna go? And with ordering chaos, we're actually pretty lucky because um, order and chaos have the same amount of letters. Mm, okay. They're both five letters. So I'm kind of imagining that it's a square composition. Okay. Is it good to put lines down? Yeah, but you can also just start by sketching, um, just thinking about how it's going to be. Okay. So I'm just putting the letters down and thinking about the hierarchy. So. What's the most important word? We also have in, I forgot about that, which obviously means it's not as important. <laughs> um, so chaos, I think, is the most important I, one. For me, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if it's important to Sam, then we're gonna make it really prominent. <laughs> yes. um, so when you're thinking about the hierarchy, one of the ways to showcase part of your composition is to make it bigger. So maybe chaos is bigger than order in our composition. Um, Give me some lines going. Maybe order is um, really, right now I'm just being rough, you guys, okay? And this is what I would encourage you to do. Maybe order is kind of square and chaos is kind of um, more expressive and in Oh. It's just a little. You did that so fast. It's just, Goodness. you know, an exploration. <laughs> How long have you been lettering, Ari? Um, it's been about four years oh. or more, maybe five. But just through Adobe, I started taking workshops and meeting people and just practicing. So it's been a kind of a long road. I'm so scared. Okay. I think <laughs> I'm going to start with pencil. Yeah, just start sketching things out like I'm doing. Right. And then once you see a design that you like, we can start putting ruler lines down and just refining it. Should I have a top line too, or just? The top line is helpful too, but when you're just sketching, okay. it's not a prerequisite, because it's not gonna be perfect. I'm not doing any lines right now, because I'm just trying to figure out okay. what order and chaos mean to me. What does everyone think in the chat? How would you, um, what style would you use for each word? Let's see. Thanks for joining everyone. Say hi in the chat if you're just joining now. We're doing a field trip. Um, it's a partnership with Creative Mornings and Adobe. And we're doing hand lettering today. We're lettering the words order and chaos. Chaos is the monthly theme for Creative Mornings. So. It's an awesome little phrase that we're doing. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Paul. Let us know where y'all are from. Yeah. We're here in San Francisco. Where is everyone else from? James says, order would be rigid lines to me. I agree. I think something rigid, something like constrained, maybe more square, less round. 
Alexis is from San Diego. Kyle is Ooh, Toronto from... in the house. Oh, yeah. Cedric's from the Netherlands. Lucas is from Brazil. Lee's from Detroit. Cool. Hey. Worldwide. So, yeah. Worldwide. I'm thinking. Um, so are these lines going to make my, uh, when we put it into capture, is it going to look crazy now that I have these lines all over the place? Well, we can erase them. OK. And then we'll be yeah. good to go. It'll be fine. Okay. But be light with your lines. You don't have to. Aggressive? Because you'll be able to see them. <laughs> Just as a guideline. Got it. Be really light, because you'll be able to see them even if they're just a suggestion. But I'm just like trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. OK. Um, I'm thinking of some interesting ways to write this out. That could be cool. Let's see. Ooh, Tiffany says it would be interesting to actually have order in the chaos. Oh. That's cool. All right, Maybe I'm going to leave that one up to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe eliminate the word in altogether. That's all right, you really did this. Cool. I just did one O and you did this chaos. I didn't even see this happen. It's practice. <laughs> I live with this pen. It's like my best friend. So my full-time job is at Adobe and I'm in the office all day, but then when I go home, I'm just alone in my room lettering with the Tombow Duo brush pen. Gold. That's the secret. Just sit in your room alone and do it. Love it. With your desk. <laughs> okay, let's see. How could I do... I wonder if... So even. Where do you go for like inspiration? Like when you get hand lettering block? Yeah. Well, I actually, a lot of um, fonts are based on hand lettering. Mm -hmm. So I, I like looking on Typekit and looking at the fonts oh. that I have available and just looking at different styles. So yeah, let's look at Typekit. Yeah. Because so I'm not feeling inspired right now. <laughs> So if I go on Typekit, if I go on my computer here, let's try to make this bigger. I don't want it to take up the whole. Okay. So I go here and I look, Ooh. you know, we're doing the word order now, so I can change the text right there. And then I can say, I'm thinking it's gonna be a sans serif. So I'll go here. And I'll look at all these styles and see something that jumps out to me. So previously I was thinking that it could be kind of square. So this, this idea looks cool to me. I like that Just too. a very rigid, maybe even something condensed. So if I click on that filter, I get all the condensed stuff. Oh, yes. Um, something with like rigid condensed lines could be cool. And then for chaos, Let's see. We don't want this. We want something more decorative. So we like this. Maybe we could do. We could look at all these crazy shapes. Wait, like these like double H's. I'm gonna try like with a. Okay. What are you thinking? Oh, with the yeah. double crossbar. Yeah, I might have That's to try cool. that. What that about a fun. script? Um, we could look at some script families. Mm. I know that this family has a ton of styles in it from Sutipos. If I look here, I can see all the different ideas and I can test my word on this page here too. And I can make it bigger. I really like this second one, it's cool. And you can tell that it's been done with a different kind of yeah. pen than the others. Like now that I've shown the different pen styles, does that kind of show up? Like. Yeah, totally. This one is totally different than that because the thick and thins are all in different places. So I love going and looking at fonts for inspiration. A lot of fonts are not based on hand lettering, but mm -hmm. sometimes it gives you an idea of, oh, that's what an H is supposed to look like. <laughs> like sometimes you forget what it's supposed to look like. So let's go back to our drawing. Um, I also look at some artists that I, 
I'm inspired by and what they've done. Um, there's a ton of people creating stuff online that is super accessible, even just on Instagram, looking at hand lettering. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do the brush side. Is that yeah. this, this the brush side? Yeah. All right. You said press down harder and then up? Yeah, so when okay. you're going on your downstroke, you're gonna put more pressure on the paper and then you're gonna relieve the pressure as you go up. Okay, yeah. okay, wait. It's pretty hard to do. <laughs> Let's try it's it again. It's hard because um, when you haven't used the pen, it's hard to know how much pressure to put on something. Okay, down hard. Yeah, and then relieve the pressure. Are you supposed to lift the pen? You can lift it okay. at any point you want. Oh, that looks better. Yeah, looks you got the contrast. So we call this contrast, oh, the different thicks and thins. That doesn't and look too good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. It's looking really good for your first time using this. So everyone who's joining, we have Sam here, who's a student, um, just for right now. Best she teacher has a ever. job. <laughs> I have a job. <laughs> She's my student right now, so she'll be learning alongside you how to create a composition with your hand lettering. And we kind of have to think of our, our final design pretty soon because we only have a limited amount of time to go into Photoshop and make our composition that we can share on social media. Okay. So I really like that idea of putting the order in the chaos so I think I'm gonna try. Um, I did not spell chaos right. Okay, no, you that, did. Was ba <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. I came back but in. But remember to go slower. Okay. And your pen is kind of thick, so you might need more space so that it's not looking okay. cramped. All right, I need more lines. Yeah, so I'm maybe give make your give yourself more of an X height. What I mean by X height is um, the height of the lowercase letters this little square. Mm -hmm. So if that's bigger, then you have more space. Okay. And if you have a thick pen, you need a higher X height because you need to get those thicks and thins in a way that they can shine. Got it. Hi, Dinur, thank you. I'm so happy you joined. Everyone, let us know where you're from if you haven't already said hi in the chat. Okay, let's see. So what's your favorite like lettering style? Like, do you like do you like? I like scripts. Ooh, you guys know what to oh do. Oh my gosh, it's, it's time. Falling. So write in the chat the secret word so you can be have a chance to win stickers. A hundred custom stickers from our friends at Sticker Mule. Yes. Isn't that cool? It's really cool. So get active in the oh, chat. Oh, it's active. Oh, people are going for it. I see it. I see Monica. I see Clint. Paul. BB. Bandera. Laura, Tima, Dina, Heather. Paul, Heather, oh my gosh. Keegan. Oh, there's so many people. That's so cool. That's so many people are watching us. I know. I'm very intimidated right now. <laughs> we'll be fine, Sam. Okay. Just keep writing. Just chaos. keep writing on. <laughs> it's chaotic. It is chaotic. Um, I'm gonna pre-erase this a little bit because I did it too hard. I'm worried about my lines later. You're going pretty hard on your lines. All right. You might want to just erase them <laughs> a little bit because you don't want them to pick up on the camera. All right. A little bit. There's more sophisticated ways of doing this. Well, I just like threw away my pen. So are like um, calligraphy and hand lettering the same thing? They overlap a lot. Okay. So they are two different words and they do have different meanings a little bit, but it's hard to say that they're totally different. So calligraphy is more based on the tool that you're using. Okay. So it's about, it's kind of like a meditative practice of using a specific tool to achieve a certain result. So for example, using the pointed pen that I was using before, um, a lot of calligraphers, ooh! So the winner is Yusif Alomeri. Congrats, Yusif! Congratulations! Woo! We can't wait to see what you do with your stickers. Yeah, so go to Sticker Mule and get your credits. Um, so calligraphers will master a certain tool. Okay, that makes sense. Um, whereas if you're doing lettering, it doesn't have to be with a certain tool. You could letter with matchsticks. It's just the act of creating letters that are pleasing to the eye or that convey a certain sentiment. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's a more, more all-encompassing word, lettering. I'm gonna try to make them very round. 
Yeah. It's so very another... hard to keep my hands steady. How do you keep your hands steady? It's just practice. No that coffee? Part... <laughs> I don't drink coffee, actually. Maybe that Maybe helps. that's my problem. <laughs> Had a little matcha this morning. Oh, matcha. Yeah, fancy. Very hipster. So San Francisco. Yeah. I'm gonna try the idea that Tiffany had of putting each letter in itself. We'll see what happens. Wow, I didn't plan that out very well. It looks great. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, so mm, your idea so is steady. full of order being about shapes, like, it's really common to see in like the fonts people use that they use a geometric sans serif. And what we mean by that is like, whoa, cool, Sam. That's really cool. It looks cool? Yeah. Um, a geometric sans serif would be a font that is made up of shapes. So like the O is a circle and the lowercase d is a circle with a line, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's very rigid. So your idea that. of doing order with these rigid shapes is a cool idea. And maybe do one more of these and then we're gonna start capturing. Okay. Um, Let me go up. Light lines. Light lines. Light lines. Whisper, make the pencil whisper on the paper. <laughs> Is that what your teachers taught you? No, I just made that up. <laughs> that was a good one. You should put that on your Instagram. Yeah. Quote. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that also works with the brush pen. Like, when you're going down, you're loud, and when you're going up, you're whispering. Okay, I get that. Oh. I like this. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Are you going to put this but I, in capture? No, because I... I didn't do it very well. I really love I, this one. I wish I could do this, but this is, I'm stressed just looking at it. Let's try. <laughs> well, that's something you can practice. You're already right. practicing light, with your O's. Light up, right? Or yeah, loud down and whisper up. And go a little more sideways on your, yeah, look. Okay, but I didn't do that right. But pick up your pen more. Okay. Don't think that you can't pick up your pen because that's a, this is horrible. And think about your spacing. So see that these are very close together. Okay. So be slow and deliberate and think about your spacing. That looks good. Okay, one more time. One more time with I my like lines. I like this idea. I think you should do this, just refine that, do it one more time, and okay. then we can capture. Let's do that. Because we only have like 20 more minutes. It's already? Oh my goodness. I know, it's really time sad. Time flies with you, Ari. Such I a know, wonderful we're teacher. we're having so much fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna do okay. One more time. I need to. I make think my in an ink. ideal world, if I had more time, I would perfect this idea because I think it's so smart. But I don't have time to perfect it right now, so I'm gonna do the three words separately. And I think this will give us an opportunity to um, show on Photoshop how you can just move things around because when you're doing things by hand, they're not gonna be perfect. So. Photoshop is our magic tool to make our lettering look awesome. Do you do like all of your friends' cards, like birthday cards oh, and yeah. Christmas cards? You it's have kind to. of a Does problem. <laughs> <laughs> Did your family have like a full collection of like RE cards? Kind of, yeah. So cute. It became a problem. I was like, uh, I can't make everyone's card anymore because I don't have time to live my life, but <laughs> I still do it and I still enjoy doing it. Especially around the holidays. I love making, oh, and like thinking of cool puns. I made that kind of centered, that was all right. That looks great. All right, is that what we're, I think I'm gonna go forward with that one. Yeah, and then. This um, is so good. I'm just gonna try to knock this out real quick. How's everyone doing in the chat? Is everyone following along? Are you thinking of what you would do if you had this task? Which you kind of do because you're listening and I expect you to work on it too. What does everyone think? Megan says Ari's cards are now a collector's item. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, now they're Ari more cards. rare. <laughs> Look, I just branded you Ari cards. 
All right, cards. Done. All right, I like it. I'm gonna try to make the end be like that. Well, that looks so nice. The chaos is gonna be kind of a fun, chaotic. Honestly, this pen is bothering me. All right. It's a little old. It got a little frayed. Should I erase my lines up here? Yeah, but okay. make sure that it's, it's dry. dry. Okay. okay. So once we've done this, we're gonna go into my phone and use Capture. Okay. And another thing is, don't be afraid to use Whiteout because that's uh, really one of my best friends. The Tombow brush pen is my best friend and then Whiteout is like the second one <laughs> because I work a lot on paper. Hi Khalid. Hi Yusuf. Let us know where you're from and if you like hand lettering, what's your favorite lettering style? I would love to hear. Okay, I'm gonna just something up wipe this. this out real quick and then we can go straight into our phones. Okay. Oh. Do so, I need to wipe out anything? You good. could if you want. I think I'm okay for right now. We'll see. Cool. Just gonna erase this and then we'll be ready to get into Photoshop. So I do love the brush pen. I just, it's kind of like an addiction. Do they come in different colors? That's yes. That's a dumb question. They come in like a hundred <laughs> colors, the Tombow ones. It's, I wanna practice with this. Can I have it? Yeah. All right. You can have it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very I have inspired. like 10 of them at every, like my desk, my house. I'm just gonna do this so that I don't have any. Yeah, okay. So, here we are with our phone and I'm just gonna put my phone in its little thing, which I don't know where it is. Okay. So that everyone can see it. Do you have capture on your phone? Sam? I do. Cool. Oh, there we go. Let's find capture. All right, so here's my phone. So I did a little practice one the other day and it's still there. You can see it there. So if I go on capture, you can see that it's really easy and it's a free app. So I'm gonna go right That's here. So good. And oh, there's a little thing, but you know what? I can edit that on Capture. I don't have to do it right there in real life. Okay, so here's my image. And then I can just erase the stuff that I don't want. Magic. Magic. OMG. And it's rough, you know, but it is hand lettering. And the reason why we do hand lettering is to get that organic effect. If we just wanted fonts, we could, I mean, we have thousands of fonts available to us, so that's easy. But hand lettering gives you just something fun so and organic. Save. So I saved that as a shape, and then all I have to do is get into Photoshop. Did you do yours, Sam? Yes, I just did it. I'm doing some erasing right now, so I can Perfect. make it look nice like yours. So I'm gonna get into Photoshop while Sam's um, erasing her imperfections, <laughs> and We'll go onto my computer. I already launched Photoshop and I already created this document, which is, um, it's a square with a background of space, which I thought was a cool backdrop for my lettering composition. I'm gonna Oops. grab my computer too. Awesome, so Sam's getting her computer. Is everyone following along? I hope everyone's enjoying and let us know if you have any feedback or you know questions. I'd love to answer your questions if you have any. So we're in Photoshop now. I actually went on Adobe Stock and I searched for space images and I found some really cool ones. I think Sam did too. Yes, I found a really cool blue. Yes, the same one. Really? I love that. I love that. It was like one of the first images and it's perfect. 
I think I have my mouse somewhere. I also found this one, which I think is cool. Um, let's see. So all we have to do is just drag our shape. Do you see it here on my libraries? Oh, yours it is already different. synced. Okay. Oh yeah, mine is here. My virtual Perfect. field trip. All right, let me get my image and we can just drag it right in. Yeah. Okay. So do you awesome. have your space? Yes, I have it in my downloads. Perfect. So we're dragging it in. Nice. Oh my gosh. So okay. maybe zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole square. Okay. Because that helps with composition. If you zoom in too much, then perfect. Okay, Boom. so drag your, go back to that other library and drag your and shape. Field trip. And we'll just drag it right on top? Yeah. Yay. So you guys might notice that you can't really see the lettering because yeah. it's black. But what we're going to do is, ooh! Oh, it's time! It's Who's raining. ready? It's raining hot. Hallelujah, it's, it's raining hot. Oh yeah. Okay, it's stickers. Hot. You guys can win. So get active in the chat. Who's ready? I'm oh, ready. it's going crazy. I want stickers. I only have Mohammed. this many. Oh my goodness, Mohammed really wants these stickers. Annie, Kyle, Anna, Yay. Lucy. Woo! Yay, everyone. Okay, so I think we just need to place it. Okay. I think I placed so, mine. I hit, okay, a, cool. I hit a, a check. So if you go to layer styles okay. on your, at that menu, yeah. All right, layer Let's go style. to layer styles and do color overlay. Okay. And then we can make it white. I'm gonna oh. do mine. I think it's already, oh yeah, mine's already white. Okay. All and right. then I said, okay. It work? <gasps> I I'm oh, we have a one. winner. Oh, yay. Congrats, Laura. Bingham. Congrats, Laura. Thank you so much for watching. So I'm going to make mine like 85% opacity so it's not blindingly white. But yours oh. looks good on your background. Okay. How do I make my letters larger? Yours, yours so looks you so can, large. You can modify your size. All you have to do okay. is just Go click on layer. Just click on it right okay. here. I think I have to go, do I have to select do it? Do com command D, oops, oh, no. to deselect. Um, All right. So go here to this menu, because you're in the quick selection tool. Okay. So just go on your, your mouse, yeah. And now you're moving that, so make sure you click on the layer of the lettering okay. on the shape. Hit effect, or? Just hit shape one, yeah, okay. you're good. And then, <laughs> nope. There, you, you moved it. All right, there so we go. So you can lock this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Go up here to that lock button. So oh, the I have thing a touch is screen. with Sam, she has screen. a touch screen, so if I touch it, it changes stuff. All right, here we go. So it's just the lock that layer. Yeah. Perfect. And then if you click on shape, you could move it around, right? Oh, I think because I locked it. Maybe you not. locked the other one, right? Just. All right. I'm going to just, there we go. There we go. There you go. And mm. now you can do Command T. All right. If you have the shape selected. Command T. And you can oh, make it bigger. Okay. If you hold click shift. A, hold right? shift. Yeah. So it doesn't stretch yes. out. Goals. Woo! That looks so good, Sam. Oh my gosh! It looks so much better than it did on the white paper. <laughs> I know. Okay. Because it's in space. Anything in space is cool. Um, so what I want to do with yours is. I'm thinking that it could have more space in between the two words. Okay. So what we can do is if you right click on your layer where mm -hmm. it says shape and rasterize layer. All right, where is rasterize? Right there. Okay, rasterize layer. And then it's rasterized. So you could go to the lasso tool on the left. Mm -hmm. I think this is lasso. Yeah. yeah, and zoom in a little bit because you can't really see. And then select like the so order, try to select the order. Should we try chaos first? Yeah. Seems like there's a little more space there. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Oh. Select the chaos. You don't have to be super precise as long as you don't select other stuff. Okay. And then you can move it down using your arrow key. You can, pr oh, it's not moving the actual thing. All right, so to go, you told me control T, right? Let's see if that works. There we go. Oh, you didn't get the top parts of it. I'll clean that. Can we clean that up? <laughs> we can clean that up, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see what you're doing over here. 
So I'm over here and I'm thinking that my, um, my order needs to move over. So I'm gonna place that and then I'm going to do the same thing. Rasterize, layer, there we go. It's hard to find things when you're live streaming. I feel like my eyes don't work because I'm thinking about everyone watching. And then, oh, it's not moving the actual thing. There we go. Ooh. Okay, okay. so I moved that over and then I actually wanna make it bigger too. So I'm gonna make that bigger. There we go. I like that. Apply. Okay, what does everyone think? Does it look like you're in chaos, but you found some order in your life? Um, I also have this other background, which I could try it on. I could. Gosh, this is so cool. Yeah. I could do another layer style. Make that. This one can be super white and blinding. And it's important to have some breathing room around your composition. So even like when you're framing a picture, mm -hmm. you wanna have a mat around it, right? Yeah, Because that makes sense. you don't put it like bleeding to the edge. And the same thing even with something you're posting on Instagram, like let it breathe, give it some room. Um, don't try to make it as big as it can be because that's not the most important thing. So Sam says, would you change the color again? Yeah, I could change this color. I can make it any color um, using that color overlay. But I feel like it won't show if it's another color. I really like the white. Um, I kind of like this background more. You like mine? Yours and mine. I like that oh, blue. Oh, I like yours. Yeah, the blue looks great. Because I have purple. this background and I don't yeah. think, I think this one looks better. This one's a vibe. It's, it's vibing. It's, it's vibing. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so Sam, I feel like your background moved a I, It bit. did shift a little bit. <laughs> I have to fix it. I was, but I did, I did space out my letters so oh, that they cool. weren't so congested. <laughs> okay, yeah, you there don't we want go. congested letters. Also, there you could go. just make How your background we... bigger a little bit so that it, it bleeds. Okay. You know? Oh, I see what you mean. How do we, um, what did you tell me, Command T? Yeah, to, How do we to bring up the... All right, there we go. I think that's good, right? Yeah. Okay. Some transparency maybe. Yeah, you could do that. That could be cool. Okay. Let's see. Now what I'm gonna do... Now yeah, that I have order? this new background, I'm going to um, bring the order over again because that's what I did last time because it wasn't really centered. I do this. And bring it over and make it bigger like I did last time. Okay, I think that's cool. And then I'm gonna do the in. I'm gonna bring the in. Bring the in in. <laughs> what do people think? Does that look more centered? I like that. Yeah. Looks good. All right. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, and just to recap what we did, we used Adobe Capture to take an image of the lettering and then we brought it into Photoshop and um, did color overlay. So you go to layer styles and you, you select color overlay and then you can change the color and we made it white so that it stands out yeah. in space. Great. And space is chaotic, but you know, we're here to bring order. Um, and now I'm gonna share it on Instagram. Are you ready? Just like this? Well, I have to export it first. All right. But good point. <laughs> Show me how. So I'm going right. to do quick export as PNG. All right. And I will name it 
order and chaos. We only have five minutes, but it doesn't take that long to share something on Instagram, right? I'm saving that to my desktop. Oh, something's it's happening. Time. It's raining hearts. Hallelujah, <laughs> it's raining hearts. Oh yeah. You can do, sing do, so well. Do, 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 do. Ari's I'm cards now the come with that a I can tune. use to connect my phone because it keeps falling out, and I want everyone to see how they know I what time stuff. it is. It's sticker time. <laughs> Stickers. Yay! That's awesome. So I'm gonna airdrop this image to my phone. How cool! Oh, I airdropped it to someone else. I think. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsies! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was me. It wasn't me. It was me. Wasn't me. Da na 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 na. Wasn't me. Da na na da 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 na. Wasn't me. Da na 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 na. I think we should be a girls group part time. You a know? girls duo. Yeah. Okay, I got it on my phone. Awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh. So now all I have to do is. It's literally magic. Yeah. All I have to do is go into Instagram. Congrats! Ooh, congrats, Gabrielle! Woo! Go, Gabrielle! And I've got it here. I've got my graphic that I just created. And all I'm going to do is go to Next. I don't need any filters, right? I mean, I feel like we've, it's filtered. Hashtag like, look how cool no that is. filter. <laughs> it looks really cool. It does. It looks awesome. And I think I saved something in my notes that I can use as a, oh, you. as a um, thing. Did I save it? Or maybe I just copy pasted it. Wait. Is it still, there we go. Ah. No, I, oh, maybe I did. I didn't save it, okay. How do you find order in chaos? I love it. <laughs> yeah, and everyone, if you share this on Instagram, please use the hashtag CM Field Trips because this is a Creative Mornings virtual field trip. I don't know how to spell anything. How, what are people down, saying in the chat? I'm and, cracking up right now. <laughs> Hard down, whisper up. <laughs> Those are goals, life goals. Hard down, whisper up. Oh my gosh. Seth told us he's already launched Photoshop. Really? And hashtag no filter. Normal. Hashtag so, creative mornings full trip. Adobe and creative mornings. Hashtag CM field trip. Field trips. With an S. With an S because there's multiple and this is one of them. Hashtag lettering because of course you have Why to not? do that. Okay, so then I'm ready to share this on Instagram. Okay, should I add my location? Yeah. Adobe. You know, sometimes they can't find it because of the Wi Fi in the studio. Mm -hmm. So maybe we won't do that right now. Later. Okay, sharing. My friend Annie's picture is the first thing on my <laughs> Instagram right now. Yeah. Okay, so that's sharing. But I hope that you all saw how easy it is. It is. To just, and we can show um, Sam's that she created. We both created something in like 20 minutes. It looks way better than it did on this paper. So I'm it very happy so with cool. myself. I want to go home and like do some stuff for my friends. Yeah, it's really cool and it's really eye catching. Um, all you have to do is practice. Practice your hand lettering. Um, make sure that you put a lot of time in if you want to be good at it. And then, guess lines. what? Lines, lines. Oh yeah, use your ruler. Yes. And guess what? Photoshop can be your friend. Yeah, because so, mine was so condensed before you taught me how to space it out. Yeah. And it looks so much better And mine now. was like, the one word was over here, the one word was over there. So, lasso that up and move it over. <laughs> lasso it up. <laughs> And follow me on Instagram, tag me on what you create because I would love to see it. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank see you, Ari. You're such a great teacher. Thanks, Sam. You're such a good <laughs> <nice> student. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys.